Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I'm sharing with you all of the fragrances I have warmed in my home over the last week. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so some of the things you hear me talk about today can be found on my website, which is linked down in the description box below. So this week I focused on melting the wax from our featured company from my spinner wheel from last week, which was Rose Girls. So it was really great because I've been wanting to do Rose Girls for a while as a featured uh, vendor. And so I was able to do some of that this week. That was great. I also participated a little bit in the wax melting challenge that's being hosted by Patricia Gates. So as per usual, we're going to go through the non-featured company's wax first, then we'll do the features company's wax, then we'll do candles, and then we'll wrap this up. So let's get started. So I did quite a bit of Scentsy this week. Um, this week was very stressful for me. I had a lot of trainings that I needed to do uh, because of what I mentioned last week. And so, yeah, things are still very stressful. They will be for the next couple weeks. I think we're in the two weeks now before the changeover. And so, yeah, I needed some comfort scents and... So I did reach for a few that I normally reach for when I want to feel a little bit of comfort. And so one of my faves, NHL Fresh Ice. This is currently available still. This is just, I think it says Icy Mint, Cool Air, and Sandalwood or something like that. It's something like that. To me, this is just a really nice, sweet mint and icy air fragrance. I don't get the sound of wood. It's just really refreshing. For me, it's very comforting. I will also mix this with eucalyptus wreath, which was available during the fall winter catalog, which I do have in my club. That's a bi-monthly club one. And so, yes, I just finished off this clam on its own. It's in the polar panorama in my bedroom, and I'm really, really enjoying it. In the master bath, we are currently doing a couple cubes of Zoinks from the Scooby-Doo collection. This is a really nice, fun, fruity fragrance. Love the color of that wax. And I really enjoy this one. It's got a little bit of that fizzy soda type scent as well. And so we really enjoy this one. This one is in my quarterly club. No, it's in my bi-monthly club. It is in my bi-monthly club. Got to some of the new spring summer bars so I did get my order of those in so we did test those out this week and so in the smaller bathroom we did a cube of wild cherry and sakura this is a cherry fruit fragrance but there's also cherry blossom and some woodiness in it at least that's what I'm getting now on cold it's much more of a like blended scent but on warm, all of that wood came out. All of the wood. Very disappointing for me because I am not a wood fragrance enthusiast, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I'm not somebody that likes really woody scents. And that's a lot of the reason why I don't enjoy a lot of the Sakura type scents because they tend to be very, very woody. And this one, even though on cold it was much more like mild on the wood and much more of a balanced fragrance when I warmed this it was almost all wood so this is not going to be a repurchase for us I do much prefer the Aristocats fragrance that's currently available that one's like cherry blossom and vanilla um, and I think there's some fresh air note in there as well uh, that one is much better for me this one, not so much. So very disappointed with that one. Will not be purchasing any more of that one. In my small world warmer in my bedroom, I've got a couple cubes of the Moon Orchid scent. This was one that I was very excited for. I, if you recall when I smelled the testers for you, I said it smelled very similar to an orchid fragrance that the company I used to work for way back when um, that did produce their own soaps and candles. Um, we actually made them in store. They had an orchid fragrance and it smelled very similar. To me, it still does smell pretty similar. This is a light medium thrower. I should say this one was pretty strong. But I think it's because it was really woody. And so when there are scents that you don't like, they tend to be stronger. At least for me, that's what it is for me. So that came off pretty strong for me. This one is more of a light medium. 
Definitely great as a bedroom scent. It's very relaxing. I really enjoy this one. I am hoping this one will tick up a little bit in the strength as it cures because I think this one is going to be excellent. One that I use for many different rooms in my house, especially if I can just get a little bit stronger. If I can get to that like medium throw, this will be awesome. I am going to play around with this one for the rest of the catalog season and then decide later whether or not I want to club it. But I am enjoying this one a lot. And like I said, very good bedroom scent. The winner, the absolute winner. When we put this one in the warmer, I told my daughter, I'm like, this is an absolute yes, uh, bamboo and rainfall. So this was the one that I was most excited about when I heard about it from the scent notes when they were released from Scentsy. And so I did pick some of this up with full intention of enjoying it. And this is my absolute fave of the ones that I've picked up. It has a very similar aquatic like rain smell to the older like classic Yankee Candle aquatic fragrances that I mentioned to you last week that I really really enjoy. That rain note is very similar in here. It is not so green either. Like bamboo scents can come across very green for me. Like we have bamboo and yuzu from the Bring Back My Bar a couple years ago in my quarterly club. And we really enjoy that one. But bamboo is a very distinctive like fragrance note. I don't really smell that in here. I would say that the rainfall uh, note is the most prominent in this bar. I absolutely love this one. It was a great performer too. Medium strong. Two cubes in the master bath. Really enjoyed this one. This one even would waft from the master bath, which is pretty, you know, a good ways away. Not that my house is big. I have a small, small house. Um, but this one wafted from the master bath all the way to where I'm sitting here. It is, I would say, probably two times the length to get to the master bath from this chair to get to the smaller bathroom. Um, and so for it to travel all the way here where I could even smell this when I'm sitting here working during the day, that's a pretty good performer for me. So really enjoyed this one. We'll definitely be clubbing this at the end of the catalog season. And I am very, very pleased with that one. We did sip and pull side in the master bath as well. Uh, this one is like a citrus fizz kind of tropical fruit type fragrance. I smell some coconut in there. And for me, I'm very picky as to when I want to smell coconut. And I don't often enjoy it with other tropical fruit scents. I either want tropical fruit or coconut. I don't want them mixed together. But I overwhelmingly smell like a coconut tropical fruit salad type scent and a like kind of sparkling kind of soda scent. But it's very, very mild sparkly. Um, this one was okay. This one was definitely the lightest out of all of the spring summer bars that I bought. I would say this was a light. I could barely smell it in the master bath. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be picking any more of this up. Uh, but you never know. I mean, the catalog season is several months. It'll give me some time to change my mind, maybe. And maybe I'll just, like, enjoy this more when it's a little bit warmer. Uh, I would say when it's, like, scorching outside. Um, I'm still not really ready for these, like, really super summery scents. Um, and so, yeah. This one was a nice scent, but definitely not to my like more preferences. And uh, I will be probably playing around with this one though during the catalog season. So I've got six more cubes. We'll definitely be melting the rest of it. It wasn't bad by any means. Um, just I'm very picky <laughs> with the types of uh, tropical fruit scents that I enjoy. So then the last of the non- Rose Girls Wax uh, was the new like blossoms of fragrance 
or Happiness Blooms. I can't remember what they're calling the collection this year, but it's the Epcot uh, collection. I got the three new uh, bars that were added from the Soft Plumeria, uh, Heirloom Rose, and Midfields. Um, I really enjoy those, and so I got just the new bars because... The other ones are currently in my club, though I think I'm going to be pulling mint fields out. Uh, but Garden Fresh Gardenia. We'll start with this one. I did this one in the smaller bathroom. We just did one cube. Now, I really enjoy Lush Gardenia. Lush Gardenia was in the spring summer catalog year before last. Um, it is in my club. It is the very first Scentsy fragrance I purchased. Is the very first one that I melted and it was at a time when Sensi didn't have Sensi Club so <laughs> when I came back to Sensi thankfully it was still in the catalog and I have been able to put it in my club and that will stay there for however long I have a Sensi Club it's a really super strong performer and so I had my doubts that I was going to enjoy this one as much because there is a green note in the Garden Fresh Gardenia but, you know, got to enjoy those gardenia scents. Now, I do also have the Cinderella bar in my club. And that one is like a gardenia and forget-me-nots and a little bit of lemon, sparkly lemon scent. And so I'm like, how many gardenia scents do I need, right? But they're different. Lush gardenia is very different from Cinderella. So pick this one up and I really enjoy it. Now... This is definitely a more like white, super fresh gardenia scent. There is a definite green note in there. This is not anywhere near as strong as Lush Gardenia though. I would say this is a medium. Lush Gardenia is super strong for the same amount of wax, like one cube. One cube of Lush Gardenia will fill up almost my entire house in one warmer. This couldn't do that. But if you're afraid of Lush Gardenia but want a nice white floral scent, definitely try this one. It is much, much milder. Much milder. It's a more like rounded floral scent. And you get that green to off balance the white floral Um I'm actually going to put this one in my club. <laughs> so I have three gardenia scents in my club, but I really, really enjoy gardenia as a perfume scent. Um, I have several gardenia perfumes that I rotate often um, that I get from when I go home. And so, yes, really enjoy this one. And if you've been afraid to try Lush Gardenia, try this one out. It's much milder, much more rounded of a scent. And yes, so that's a winner. We did a cube of hi hibiscus sunrise in the same warmer in the smaller bathroom um, after the Garden Fresh Gardenia. Now this one is much more of a tropical fruit fragrance. There is peach in here. Now if you know me, you know that I do not enjoy peach fragrances. But I gave this one a go anyway. The peach fragrance comes out a lot. A lot. But I do also get a mango-like note. I'm not sure what fruits are in here, but I definitely smell like a fresh mango scent with the peach. So that made it more enjoyable for me because I really do enjoy mango scents. But I don't smell any of the hibiscus. And for me, hibiscus oils are usually very... Uh, prominent, I can usually pick them out because hibiscus is a scent oil that I do not enjoy. But this was nice. It was nice. Lots of tropical fruits. I don't smell any floral. I don't think I'm going to be purchasing any more of this though because of the peach note. But not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that was interesting. And then we did the last one. A glorious grapefruit in the master bath. We did two cubes. This is a really, really nice, more like mild grapefruit scent. It's not very sharp at all. I feel like there might be a little bit of herbiness in the background of this. 
but it's nowhere near the herbiness of, say, Kringle Candles Rosemary Grapefruit, where that one, the rosemary, comes out really super strong. This one is a much milder grapefruit note. It's still, like, clean and fresh, but it's not, like, super zingy. I really like this one. I may club it. I may club this one. Still going back and forth. Um, if you have heard me talk about during the winter time that I really enjoy uh, Yankee Candles, White Spruce, and Grapefruit. In fact, I think I melted it just a couple weeks ago, if not last week. But it's one of my favorites. So I tend to try to find grapefruit scents to mix with, like, Scentsy's staple <laughs> kind of tree scent. Very snowy spruce. Um, I did club that one. Uh, and so I like to like mix grapefruit scents with that one. And I think this one might work well. So I'm definitely going to try to mix it. But yes, I enjoy this one a lot. And so that was a nice one. And so yeah, everything else I melted this week was Rose Girls. So let's get started with that. So one of the prompts this week was to melt a fresh scent. So we went with Singing in the Rain which is Fresh and Clean Spa. This is really nice. <laughs> My problem with Rose Girls is that I only used one cube, like this size, in each warmer when I melt it. So it takes me a long time to get through an entire bag, but I have a lot of Rose Girls. But anyway, one cube, nice, strong, medium performance. Really fresh, really aquatic, would definitely repurchase this one again. So we did one cube in each of the warmers out here in the open concept area. So I went through two cubes of this <laughs> the other day. So that was really nice. Um, this one, so this was Fizz the Season. Uh, lemon, Lime, Orange, and Fizzy Pops. This was really, really good. Also, again, in the open concept. Uh, we did smaller cubes in this one, though, because see, the cubes are much smaller in this bag. And so when they're smaller like that, we do put more wax. But this is a really, really nice citrusy, like fizzy pop scent. You know me, I love my fizzy pop scents. And so this was very, very good. So that is Fizz the Season. One of the prompts is to melt a scent that's strong enough to cover up pet smells. I don't have a pet, but we just did something really strong and clean. And so we did this one in the master bath. This is Alexa Do the Laundry. This one is Sea Salt, Fluffy Towels, Rose, Jasmine, and H2O. This is really nice. It is a floral laundry scent. But the addition of the sea salt and the water really makes this one like nice and it's not a like normal like floral laundry scent it's a really like nice like perfumey laundry scent so good and this was a super strong super strong performer in the master bath really really good would definitely repurchase that one again alexa do the laundry there was a prompt this week i think it said Warm something perfumey or glittery. So we did Be Delicious, the DKNY type. This was nice. We did this one out here in the open concept. This is like a fresh kind of green apple scent. Yeah. At least that's what I get. This one's really nice as well. I've never had the actual perfume. I've had a dupe of uh, the Be Delicious perfume and I enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, would we purchase that one? Uh, we did this one in the master bath. This is Motor Boaten. I think this was new for her last summer. This is mango, strawberry, raspberry guava, berries, and cotton candy. So this one is really fruity. Yeah, really fruity. I get a lot of that strawberry, raspberry guava. Um, I had to put it in another bag because the side of the bag blew out. But this one is a, yeah, really fruity scent. This one, though, unusually did not perform for me. 
it was super, super light. Um, and so, yeah, I don't think I'd be purchasing this one again. But it is a nice fruity scent. And I have tons, like I said. So I don't, like, need to have more fragrances. <laughs> but that is Motor Boaten. So today we are doing I Can't Breathe out here in the open concept area. Spearmint, Rosemary Mint, Buttermint, Gilligan's Brew, which is like a coconut cream type scent, and Peppermint. So everything else besides the Gilligan's Brew is like scent notes that I would normally reach for. But the Gilligan's Brew gives this a nice little like kind of twist. Like I definitely smell like the Gilligan's Brew creaming all of those mints. But I don't smell coconut. I don't smell coconut at all, but I do get that like nose clearing mintiness out of this scent. And this is a nice strong medium out here in our open concept area. And I would repurchase this one as well because I really, really enjoy my mint scents. So that is I Can't Breathe. One of the prompts was to melt an open windows kind of scent. And I took that to mean that you would melt a scent that would be really strong. And so we went with Rainbow Rosalina. Again, I rebagged this one because the Ziploc on top broke. Uh, this is freshly picked strawberries, rainbow sherbet, and summer sorbet. This is one of my faves. I do enjoy this one quite a bit. I believe this is a Mario-inspired scent. Rose Girl's strawberry oil was one of the first strawberry oils I found that I could actually smell strawberry and not plastic. Um, and so, yeah, Rainbow Sherbet, I really enjoy. Summer Sorbet is like a strawberry ice cream type scent, but this doesn't smell very creamy. You definitely get a lot of like strawberry and then you get that Rainbow Sherbet. But I don't get like a cream note from like strawberry ice cream. This is just really, really nice, like super strawberry Rainbow Sherbet scent. Really enjoy this one. Definite repurchase. So that is Rainbow Rosalina. Uh, we did this one, which I think goes with the Melt um, Any Cold Weather Wax. So this is Snow Kingdom, which I believe is also a Mario scent. Candy Canes, Cool Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Musk. This is really nice as well. Nice, strong uh, medium out here. Really good. You definitely can get that like nose clearing mintiness out of the candy canes and the peppermint. But you can also smell that musk, which makes it more of a like kind of a body care type peppermint. Really, really like that. There's not so much vanilla that it takes away from the mint, which was kind of what I was afraid of when I first purchased this one. But I really enjoyed that one and would repurchase. So that's No Kingdom. One of the prompts this week was to melt a scent that makes you happy. And with the amount of stress that I'm having lately, uh, I really needed <laughs> that. And so I went with Santa Speechless. Speechless is one of my favorite blends from Rose Girls. Um, but this particular one, this particular blend of spruce plus the speechless, which is Satsuma Raindrops and Coastal Kale, is probably my favorite. Um, I have tried many speechless blends. I think almost every one she's offered, I've ordered. And I have never been disappointed by any of them. But this one, I reach for more than any of the other speechless blends, including speechless itself, out of my collection. It's a really nice spruce fragrance, plus the freshness of that speechless. And I just reached for this one all year round, anytime. It's just one of those ones that when I smell it, it makes me smile. It makes me happy. And I just really enjoy this one. Definitely a fave from Rose Girls for me. And that is Santa Speechless. Yes, I do have more of this. <laughs> My bag is almost done, but I do have more. Uh, we are doing this one in the smaller bathroom right now. This is Citrus Breeze, 
Lemon Lime Orange Blossom Cyclamen Alang Alang and Lavender Linen. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the lavender normally, but this one, it's not very prominent. All of those other like floral fragrances, the Orange Blossom, the Alang Alang, the Cyclamen, really like overcome that lavender. And I feel like the lavender just kind of is more of a like herbally lavender and it's giving a kind of herbally undertone. This is a super strong laundry fragrance and I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying that one. So that is uh, Citrus Breeze. Of course, we had St. Patrick's Day this week. So it was Melt a Scent that was green. And so we did this one. This is Spring Dance. Passion Fruit, Vanilla, Coconut, Honeysuckle, and Watermelon Slush. So this is a mix of fruits and florals. This one, yeah, fruits and florals. The coconut is very subdued. I can barely smell it in here. But this was really nice. Um, it, again, was a lighter performer. I would say this is like a light medium. But it's nice. Probably not a repurchase for me though because it's not that different from like other tropical fruit type scents that I can get all the time. I wish that honeysuckle note came out more because I really enjoy a honeysuckle fragrance. But yes, spring dance. And then the last one I have here, we didn't do for a wax melt challenge prompt. So this is Koopa Troopa Assault. Or actually, we did. We did it for the green wax day. We did this one in the open concept area that day. So this is raspberry sauce, pomegranate, sweet lemon confection, which I'm not quite sure what that is, and a marshmallow smoothie. So this is another Mario-inspired uh, scent. This one is very, again, fruity. You got that raspberry, you got the pomegranate. Sweet lemon confection and the marshmallow smoothie kind of add like a creaminess to that pomegranate and raspberry sauce scent. I can definitely smell like a lemon cream type note. But I don't really smell like marshmallow smoothie unless it's just like part of that creaminess that I'm smelling. But this is really nice. It's raspberry, it's pomegranate, and it's lemon with a little bit of like a creaminess to it. At least that's what I'm getting. This was a nice medium performer out here in my open concept area and I would purchase more of that. That was really good. So that is all of the Rose Girls wax that we had gone through this week and everything else that I had melted. Let me clear off some space and I will be right back with the candles. Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna start off with the candle that I have melted the night of the previous recording. So this one actually went with the wax that I talked about last week, which was Yankee Candle Evergreen Mist. I had the wax going uh, while I was chatting with you. And then in the evening, we burned this. Again, it reminds me of Sansi's Sweet Orange and Evergreen much more orange for me in this scent. This is a definite repurchase scent for me. Really enjoy that one. Good performance as well. Oh, did I not show you the burn? Burn looks like this. This is the paraffin. I don't have problems with the paraffin in my home. And so, yeah, really enjoyed that one. Definitely a repurchase for me. And I've purchased that one a few times over my lifetime. Uh, Yankee Candle White Christmas. I was going through some candles um, the other day and I saw this one that we did not even burn during the winter time. I had pulled this one out and I'm like, let's burn it because we were doing some like wintry type scents, some minty scents. And I thought this one would go really well. This is your like Christmas kind of mild spiciness. You've got a lot of like fresh air and it just kind of reminds you of the holidays a little bit, but not overwhelmingly. It's still like a nice, comfy, cozy type scent. And it was really funny because that night on the couch, 
you know, I was sitting there knitting and watching television and I was getting these whiffs of this really, really nice, like Christmassy type scent. And I forgot that we were burning this one. And I was like, oh, it smells really good. And it just like lifted my spirits and it, you know, did what it was supposed to do. That's what fragrance does, right? And so, yeah. Again, burn was good. Really enjoy this one. Scent throw was amazing. I would repurchase that one. I think when I purchased that candle, though, it wasn't available in any other iteration. So it was just the paraffin jar. Um, and it must be because it's a returning fave, because usually when they do returning faves, it isn't available anything else. So that must have been what it was. But really enjoy that one. That one would purchase that one again. Uh, we did some Kringle. So this is the Kringle in the Mercury Jar. This is the Blue Spruce again. You know I love this one. Blue Spruce, Fir Needle, Cyclamen Flower, Citron, Ivy Vines, Amber, Vetiver, Cedarwood, and Rosemary. Uh, this one is getting kind of low. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but the wax is about right here now. Still really good. Still my favorite of the Blue Spruce fragrances that Kringle has put out. But I enjoy both of them. If I had a choice, though, and could only pick one, it would be this one. Really love that one. The other Kringle scent we did was the Mermaid Scales from last year. This is citrus, orange, bergamot, green mango, sea salt, sea kelp, floral, and amber. So this one has that, like, opalescent kind of glittery glass. And I really, really like those Mermaid Scales. This one is like a fun and fruity and really bright. Almost gives that kind of like jelly bean type scent for me. I enjoy this one a lot. Burned great. And so, yes, really enjoy that one. And this one's gorgeous when it's burning too as well. So that's that one. Last night we did a fave in our house. Otaku scents Jinbei. Jinbei is a character from the manga and anime series One Piece by Ichiro Oda. Uh, this one is a really aquatic, uh, dark amber, fresh scent. One of my faves from Otaku Scents. Uh, burned great. And yes, I've only got about a couple more burns of that. I do have a backup, of course, because this fragrance is one of my faves. And then we did Goose Creek's Oahu Citrus. This is Tropical Citrus, Pomelo, and Mandarin. So super citrusy. Kind of a little bit Blue Volcano-ish, but very citrusy. Really, really enjoyed that one. That was a first burn for me on this candle. Burned great. Performance was great. Would we purchase that one? And then we did our fave from Goose Creek, Watermelon Lemonade. This was our first fave from Goose Creek. I much prefer the Watermelon Lemonade from Goose Creek to Watermelon Lemonade from Bath & Body Works. Just really, really nice, like, candied watermelon scent and that lemonade. Super strong performer. Really enjoyed this one. And so... That is all of the candles that I burned this week. That's all the wax we melted. So before I let you go, let us pick our, our next featured company of the week with our spinner wheel. Okay. And that says Scentsy. So that'll be nice to like focus on Scentsy. Though that's pretty much the only thing that I melted this week, Scentsy and Rose Girls. But I do have a lot of Scentsy. And it'll be nice to like bring out all of my like favorite uh, Scentsy like spring summer staples. Don't think I've ever kind of like shared those in a separate video. So maybe I'll work on those, like what I will be melting throughout the next catalog season from the catalog. I think that might be fun. Let me know uh, what you think of that and if you'd be interested in seeing those tried and true faves uh, for me out of the catalog. 
I think that's going to be the plan, but I hope you enjoy. And so, yeah, it's going to be a fun week as far as home fragrance goes anyway. Uh, still very stressful at the office, um, but there's no helping that. The like light at the tunnel is getting a little bit bigger, but still, it's still very stressful. And so, yeah, just going to do the best I can. Try to lift up my spirits with some home fragrance. And so, yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you've been melting this week. Have you tried any of the new fragrances from the Scentsy catalog? If so, let me know which ones you thought were going to be your faves. And if you've tried those already, let me know if what you thought matched your afterburn thoughts. I would really love to know. And if nothing else, you'd just like to let me know that you were here. If you could leave me that rain cloud emoji down in the comments below because we are getting some rain today here. That would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out. And that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.